Well, now, according to the World Economic Forum report released a couple of months ago, South Africa has the worst maths and science education in the world. However, people like Edzai Zvombo have come up with ways to increase the learner's interest in maths through his book entitled The Mathematical Genius in You. I'd like to welcome uh, Edzai into the studio. Now, there's also obviously the controversy surrounding whether maths should be a compulsory subject. Um, Edzai, welcome. Should, why, or why should maths be a compulsory subject at school? Uh, mathematics should be a compulsory subject at school because it is a subject that equips uh, the human being to be a problem solver, of which you find that uh, with the history of South Africa, there are a lot of problems that have emanated from the apartheid regime and that are affecting us up to, to today. So we need solution-oriented people, and mathematics is that tool, that one tool that's going to get us to success. Mm. That's correct. Now listen, I, I'm going to have to fight you. I, I hated maths at school, I'm not going to yes. lie. I wasn't very good at it either. How much of a person is just born to be a mathematician and how much can be taught? Uh, you find that uh, everyone has got the propensity to pass mathematics because it is something that uh, can be learnt. Uh, there's a certain level of, yes, of talent, but mathematics can be learnt if you're taught the right principles of so problem solving. So you, you see in my book, I actually give frameworks for problem solving that anyone can apply even in non-mathematical uh, circumstances. Mm. Mm. Yes. Now the big question, <coughs> excuse me, is obviously uh, the quality of our teachers in this country. You say <coughs> the way it should be taught. Do we have uh, a, a, a highly equipped or a, a sufficient enough numbers of teachers teaching mathematics? Uh, the teacher issue is actually a problem because you find that uh, the content knowledge is questionable for quite a lot of, a, a majority of the teachers actually, because they don't bring in out the utility value of mathematics when they are teaching it, such that it's one of the biggest drivers for disengagement for, for learners. They'll ask, uh, let us ask, what, where do I use this in life? This algebra, X plus Y, where am I using it? Mm -hmm. So teachers should make an effort to give out the utility value and engage the, the, the kids so that it, it has meaning in their reality, you know? Because if it doesn't make, have, make sense to them, then how are they supposed to be interested? Mm. Yes. So what you're saying is uh, a, a large portion of is making it an enjoyable subject to, uh, to, for people to learn, uh, and, and you can be good at it, uh, should you be taught in the correct way? Yes, I think uh, I'll challenge the policymakers and everyone in the education space to actually uh, try and repackage mathematics so that it is useful in our society, so that kids can be engaged in a meaningful, fun, and uh, uh, in a way that they can utilize it in a day-to-day -day basis. Because you find that I did an experiment where I asked kids uh, if the price of bread has been increased by a certain amount, what is the percentage increase in a casual way? They were able to answer. But I took the same question and put an X as an equation in a class. The same kids who had given me the correct answer couldn't, couldn't figure out what was going on. So I think it's just the packaging of the subject. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's crucial. I'm just looking at your book now, an interesting topic here. Uh, it says, I study, I take the test, I pass it, and I forget what I learned. Uh, that's, uh, I would say, uh, represents a large portion of, uh, of the students, uh, especially in uh, a school. What kind of... Um, sort of careers are, are de solely dependent uh, or, or provide maths is crucial to those uh, careers? Okay, uh, I think every career has got a level of mathematics, you know? So obviously your engineering, your actuarial science, your accountancy have got high levels of mathematical, you know, uh, utility. But then what we need is to say, being a maths genius, being good in maths, it's not in the rote learning in the calculation, but it's in the problem solving. Given a problem, can you think in a logical manner to actually come up with a solution? Are we creating as, uh, as learners that are solution oriented, that actually go through the process? That is the biggest question that I have for mm. the policy makers. Mm. Were well, you obviously uh, good at maths at school? Yes, I was. And so, uh, uh, did you have good teachers? Yes, uh, I was. I was, uh, I was in Zim, mm -hmm. uh, I did my high school in Zimbabwe, and yes, we had really good teachers. Mm -hmm. Actually, we as students were proactive in that uh, we, always, we were always ahead of the teacher. So when we came to class, it was more of revision, because we took it upon ourselves to say, mathematics is a way out for us and we shall be excellent at it. Mm -hmm. So 
as a quick win for South Africa, I believe that uh, if we take math literacy and take pure mathematics and merge them in such a way that we don't compromise on the content quality, but at the same time, we bring out the application side of things. Because mathematical literacy, as it is right now, it's trying to, be, uh, it's trying to address the applicability of mathematics in real life. And then uh, the math side of things, they are doing maths. But if you ask most of the kids who are doing maths where they use those uh, formulas in life, they don't know. Mm. So if we can bring it together, then it will have meaning. Mm. And then the other key driver for mathematical success in South Africa is if we all say the same thing, the message that, go that is going around after all these uh, World Economic Forum reports and everything is that mathematics is difficult and it's reinforcing the fact that South Africa is bad at maths. So we have to change the message and say mathematics can be done. Mm. Now looking at your book, it says uh, the mathematical genius in you. What other sort of topics uh, do you cover in the book? Okay, so it's an overview of uh, why do we study maths? First of all, because kids don't even know why we study maths. Then I'm saying those who have studied, studied and achieved in maths, what is it that they did? What are the characteristics that they emphasized, right? Mm. And then I give them strategies and frameworks on problem solving. So it has been written in such, such easy language that even a grade six child will be able to read, mm. but it's usable by anyone who's doing any numerical mm. subject. Now, how do we get to pass the problem of the teacher problem? Because I believe that's where it stems from. Um, you know what I mean? If you don't have a teacher that's teaching you in a way that makes it enjoyable, you're not going to enjoy it and you're not going to succeed at it. Yeah. How do we get past uh, that problem of, of, of increasing the number of high quality maths teachers? Actually, you know, uh, I have a whole different take on that. Uh, I'm not in the finger pointing game. I believe that everybody has to take responsibility for our education, especially mathematics. So I propose what, is, what I term individual social responsibility, where members of the community, the family, the parents, teachers, everyone takes proactive action in getting uh, our students correct in maths. Mm. It's, I appreciate your time. It's a topical uh, you know, situation at the moment, especially in the country, as uh, policies are now wanting to implement maths as a compulsory subject at school. Um, uh, this is uh, Ed's uh, Zwombo's uh, book, The Mathematical Genius in You. You can get it at all uh, leading retailers. Is that right? Uh, currently, uh, we are trying to get our distribution right, uh, but okay. they can contact us on info at mathsgenius.co.za. And once it's out there in the bookshops, then yes, they'll be able to get it. But they can contact us on the email. Fantastic. Thanks for your time. No, thank you. Well, though, we'll continue to uh, track that story of maths uh, being a uh, p p p compulsory subject uh, in uh, schools.